well. Can you see up there? No, you can't. That is our mast. That's our mast. Of our new boat that we have just spent the last, what, two and a half years building. And we're about to see it for the first time in four months. Yep. So in the interim period between boats, we did a around the world boat tour series. And as many of you guessed, uh, this was gonna be the last boat on our boat tour and series. So, so he, for those of you that guessed and wrote in about that, well done. Yeah, I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm like, me too. Excited. It is literally right there. They've um, moved it outside. Um, yeah, there's so much energy and so much energy and work. So much energy and work and effort and time has just gone into this. I'm like, we've literally worked nine years for this. So this is a big deal. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, let's go see the new boat. It's been four months. I want to give it a surprise till I get a better view. Oh my god. <laughs> See? got on your face? What is it? We're going away for a few days, okay? So you have to be a good boy for Melly. Okay. okay. Ah! Hang on a sec, can I have a hug? Okay, I'm not very far away. Oh, my daddy. <laughs> See ya. My Love whole, you. My whole heart in a door frame. <laughs> <laughs> We've not left the kids for Ever. five whole days, maybe even six. I'm also ridiculously excited. I can't wait to see the boat. Every time I eat, you film me. This morning was really difficult to say goodbye to the boys. <laughs> so this is a big deal for us, but Melly is the best. We know she can look after them so well. And the reason we're not bringing them to see the new boat is because we're going to be at the factory from sunrise to sunset and it's we can't bring the kids there because there's chemicals there's like pots of um the glue that you got on your pants um there's buckets of resin laying around so anyway they're gonna stay here and have the time of their lives and riley and i are getting a little couples trip which is very rare we're looking forward to it and i know you guys just want to see the boat so like let's get there and let's go see the boat we're so excited um, but there's a lot we also have to tell you like we just took a month and a half away from filming and we're back and we're pretty much caught up to real time now because of the break the last bit of work we'd done or i'd done was hunting for illegal fishing traps and filming our latest episode off the coast of italy with sea shepherd Riley flew back to Bali solo with the kids because of a nearly expired passport. And somewhere in between water parks, granddad popping over for a visit and the boys immersing themselves in the Indonesian culture, it was time for me to join them again. I can speak for both Riley and I here in that the weeks we just took away from our phones and laptop screens were some of the happiest days of our lives so far. And now we are feeling unbelievably refreshed and just so ready to travel, sail and film again. What's Mama doing? <laughs> and yeah. I'm not sure if it was worth the $9.50 I paid for this. That's the most expensive chocolate in the whole of Bali. Never buy airport food. <laughs> I said at the very beginning of part one, stress affects everybody in different ways. Hello, baby Darwin! Hey. Hi, Lenny. Hey, Lenny. We did it. We did it. We did it. Well it done. It feels weird without the kids, hey? Oh, it's too quiet in here. Isn't it? It's way too quiet. Now we're talking. Now I'm relaxed. <laughs> are we going out tonight or are we going to bed? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
smoking and no fruits. <laughs> You're just saying it's been awfully quiet without the kids. Awfully quiet. We woke up this morning to a semi-beautiful view, I guess, for a concrete jungle. Went and got a coffee, did a little food shop so that we're not starving in the house. Went to the gym this morning and we're just kind of getting ready to go into the... Oh, and last night was really fun. We caught up with Eric from Eminem and also Paul from Rapido. How's your parasites? Yeah, I'm also a little bit sick. I'm a bit concerned. I reckon I got parasites, hey? Dropped a couple of pretty big farts last night, didn't you? <laughs> Elena kicked me out of the room. She's like, I'm I went to come myself. in. And then he started snoring. Don't just blame me. <laughs> Such a romantic holiday so far. Elaine has done about three farts in her entire life and two of them were last night and she's all embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I've genuinely come to think of meditation as a superpower. Recently, Elena and I went through probably the toughest time that we've had with our relationship. Um, well, we're gonna talk about that in an upcoming episode, but if ever friends come to me or I go to them for help in difficult times, it's always like, are you exercising? Have you been meditating? I'm happy to be in a world where a tool like this exists. I'm gonna teach Lenny and Darwin to meditate, um, for sure, as soon as they're old enough. So we're just so happy that this episode here is sponsored by Headspace. I use that app all the time. So recently I found myself, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was having like repetitive negative thoughts and I just reached across, grabbed my phone, put my AirPods in, and just managed to uh, gather some equanimity and chill a bit, and I was able to get back to sleep, whereas I definitely wouldn't have been able to do that otherwise. They've got guided meditation, eyes open exercises, like mindfulness walks and runs, breathing exercises, sleep content, focus playlists, and more. I really love the Rainy Grove wind down visualization meditation. It gets me to sleep every time. Yeah, right. So good. One of the things that I love about it is once you get into a bit of a zone, you, it really does only take maybe three minutes here and there throughout the day to drop back into a more mindful frame of mind. And it's just, God, it's just unbelievably helpful. So there it is there. Um, what I like is you don't need to plan out your meditations. It'll sort of, it does it for you throughout the day. You can set reminders and it's just a, a clean and good looking, nice app. We're in the app business these days, so. We know. Headspace's free trial is normally for seven days, but they're gonna give you a 60 day free trial. That is for our viewers only. So, you know, if you're thinking of signing up, please do use the link in the description below. I obviously highly recommend it. I just think like, it's just, everyone should just be doing it now. Like the science is out there. You know, like if, if you're not doing it yet, you have to at least give it a go, really. It's taken a long time to get this boat done. I am losing my mind. I've seen photos we've seen and we pulled together the interior and like worked pretty hard on trying to make that look good. No one likes it. <laughs> and everyone that sees it, they're like, hmm, uh, so it's, it's interesting. It's interesting what you've done there. I haven't seen I'm it in not, its entirety. I'm not, I'm not worried at all. In fact, the if people don't like it, that makes me think that we're closer to getting what we wanted because we're weird and we're like funky shit. <laughs> Cheers to funky shit. Cheers, mate. So it's actually a Sunday today and we can't go and see our boat. If you're wondering why we're not just racing straight there, we would be, trust me. But yeah, it's a Sunday, the factory's shut. We'd have to hurdle a fence and we would. a security And there's guard. a security guard. <laughs> Um, so yeah, today I wanted to take Riley to this camera store. They sell film cameras. They look pretty special. What do you think? Right, and I'm gonna get all this. <laughs> and to add to my excitement, I ended up with a Konica Auto S2. I reckon I'll be okay with this. We'll see how the first roll of film ends up. You have been hilarious. Elena got her camera and then immediately came home and started YouTubing videos about it. She's been dorky and adorable. I've never seen you like It's so exciting. I've, li I've always wanted to learn to use a film camera and Literally. I've never had time and now I do. So I, I bought two. <laughs> this one's a point and shoot, so I don't need to learn anything. It's, and it's got a flash so I can use it late at night, which would be amazing get those different photos. 
Um, so this is gonna live in my handbag and I'm just gonna snap away. And this one's a bit heavier, so more intention. Go out on a mission rather than keep it with me always. But I'm excited. I'm losing my I was expecting to see it straight away, and now I haven't. I can see the mast though. Where? Oh, oh it's massive! <laughs> Zam, how you going, mate? Good, mate. Good. How are you? So Zam just said, yeah, you can go and see the boat, but you might need some sunglasses on. And Lena's like, why is that? And he's like, because it's so bright. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah, I am. I kind of want to keep it a surprise. Do I get a better view? Oh my god. <laughs> See? Oh my god, wow. Oh my god. It looks even better than in the photo. Holy shit. It looks so good. Wow. We nailed it. I thought I was going to start crying then. Yeah. I had the same face when I delivered Darwin. <laughs> you actually yeah. did? Yeah. We need to compare the two. I'm not even kidding. That is the most beautiful boat in the world. And I think we can all agree. Definitely the most beautiful thing for miles around the factory. Oh my god, so much has happened. Whoa. Okay, we've stepped aboard and at the moment the saloon has just wires everywhere. Um, the electricians are on board. They said they'd hoped that they were further ahead right now and they could stash everything away and the boat was nice and clean when we arrived. But we're like, it's fine, do your thing. Um, so we will tidy up and do a full boat tour for you guys. But right now I've just like snuck into the main cabin and I'm in the head. And it looks amazing. Come and look at our room. This is the master bedroom. And do you guys remember how we had a whole bunch of leather couches donated to us back in Annapolis and we cut them up and we packed them and we shipped them here to Vietnam? Well, the team at Rapido have made them into the saloon couches. I was not expecting this, so these are Beautiful. They're wrapped in plastic to protect them for now, but we're going to get them out. You know, we tried to match all the leather so it looked nice, but there was a few patches that just from the old lounge just didn't quite have enough panels, but um, yeah. I think it'll just add to the character of the lounge. I think get. so too, mate. Yeah. I laid Sick. it. I know. Check this out. What? <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> I'm never going to want to leave this boat. Well, I was really worried about the interior because everyone said that they don't like it. <laughs> and I f***ing love it. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh. <laughs> so what's so special about it? It just creates airflow. It's like having an air conditioner. When we drop the anchor and come back and we're anchored nicely, the wind blows always straight through the front of the boat and it cools down on the ocean and if you get enough air flowing through the boat it's like having an air conditioner i gotta say there's no way that people will believe me because obviously we're you know we've done a thing here with rapido but their attention to detail as i've gone over the boat i've just been like amazed at each part i'm like wow 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 um yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> we might come in at about 10.2 tons, I think, for, so for a 60 foot boat is like astonishing. Like an Ultramer, which is a good boat, at 60 foot will be half again or more. So they might be 16, 17 tons, something like that. 
we're 10 ton. You can just imagine how fast we're gonna go, which is what we're all about. And we've got more sail area than Romanza because we've got the bow sprit here. So you can imagine the amount of extra square meterage of sail that you can get from there all the way down to there. Well, I think we're gonna hammer. You guys might actually remember when we boarded Romanza back in 2019 in New Zealand. Dougal and Jazz, the owners, were so accommodating. And after a few days of sailing on her off the coast of Auckland and experiencing her performance and livability, we were completely sold. I actually do need my sunnies, but it's not from our beautiful yellow colour. Oh my gosh. Right, these nets are just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So these were... Not bouncy though. No, but they're structural, they're dynamic, so it actually holds the, holds the boat in together. Like honestly, everything that they've done. This is carbon, there's no stainless steel, well there's very, very little um, stainless steel around, because it just rusts. Okay. I love the black and white tile wallpaper. It looks so real. Ah, oh, sick. So this isn't ideal, the shower head behind me. It was originally gonna be one of the big ones that hangs from the roof, but it wasn't gonna work in this area. So we kept the base of the shower and then the guys have put a silver shower head on it, which was the best option. I'm in the guest cabin now, which I think this bed is bigger than ours in the master head. This is the biggest bed I may have ever seen. In fact, I think when we have guests come, they can all just sleep this way, long ways. One, two, three. Three people easy on this bed. Nuts. And we also have, um, we can sleep people in the Amers when we're on anchor, not while we're sailing. It is sweaty and hot. It's very sweaty. Um, what are the bits that have jumped out at you on first inspection, Alana? Um, obviously, I absolutely adore the colour we picked for the hull. I'm so stoked with the colour. A huge That was thanks. a ballsy decision. Yeah, it's very bold. A huge thanks to Axon Nobel for the custom colour design. I love the interior, the leather couches that they did. Like, yeah, they, the leather couches. They really are. stuck to our interior PDF and it's really a dream come to life. Yeah. Like, just to see it all come together. I mean, I know it's not in the water yet, but it is gorgeous. I just lifted the um, solar panel, the gas strut, and it just comes up clean and beautiful. Lovely. Like, it's just so, this here, that is so nice. And there's even more watts than I thought. It looks really racy but without overdoing it. It looks approachable. Like, I think people will want to be friends with this boat. You know, they're gonna be like, oh cool. Like, it's inviting, yeah? It's not like a, a mean racing looking boat. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, I mean fun, but I also mean business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think we picked the color scheme really like, well. Like when Big Bird did a marathon. Okay. Yeah. Big Bird, don't start calling it Big Bird because then everyone... Oh, I had a yellow panel van back in the day called Big Bird. Everyone's going to call it Big Bird now. Even we are probably. Nah. I like it. Love how beefy all of this is. The loads that will be placed on this boat are pretty extreme. 60 ton riding moment. That's like astonishing. That's hot. This is our Starlink dishy. Apparently everyone's calling it dishy online. Riley just informed me. But yeah, this is our Starlink setup. They've made it flush because obviously we get waves and stuff coming over the top. But I really want to see what's inside. Like it's not just, it can't just be that. There's something in there and I want to see. You'd think it would gimbal and it would be up like a, like a satellite. Yeah, like can you stand on this? This is a switch track, mast track. Try say that far. So the main sail comes down and one goes that way, one baton goes that way, one baton goes that way, one baton goes that way. And so it's all lower, because um, otherwise if it's all in a line, it sits up quite high. So I'm interested to see how that goes. There's a couple of things, there's that and the um, carver reef hook system, which I've heard mixed reports about. All of that stuff we'll figure out when we're doing the um, sea trials. So ideally, we would do the shakedown cruise near Vietnam, 
So, or in Vietnam, we go from here up to Vung Tau, but we're not 100% sure if we're actually allowed to sail up there. Vietnam is a bureaucratic disaster for sailboats, which I'm sure we've mentioned a couple of times. So we're trying to figure out if we can sail up there, which would be great, um, because then people from the factory can come. There's gonna inevitably be a bunch of different things, like on all brand new sailboats that we need to figure out. And that's one thing that people really need to understand people that are new to buying boats if you buy a new boat it's going to have more problems than a so boat that's many sort of problems one or two years old but that's fine we'll sort all that out and then the other place that we want to go is the philippines or there could be a change of season in the southeast monsoon will go to the northwest at which point we're probably better off going to thailand so our lives are just yeah. up in the air at the moment we don't we don't really know what's going on all i really feel like doing is the happy gilmore <laughs> Look at the lines on it. Like it just go, it goes like that, and then it flares up. So it's very sharp here, and you can see the water's going to spray like that. Every boat's got a wave piercing bow these days, but this is very, very sharp at the front here. And then as it flares up like that, that's why it's so wide um, and so spacious at the top there. But this is a very sexy part of the boat. Like this bowsprit here, being all black and carbon and this little area up here is just sexy. So I was just flying the drone and I kid you not, we are the most colourful thing for miles around this place. No doubt. And the second funny thing was we were just talking logistics and um, where we're going to sail and how we're going to get this boat out of here because it is really difficult to sail. And Mark and Zam were talking, they're like, oh, what's your boat license rally? And I was like, oh, he has a Croatian boat, boat license. I actually have it in my purse because it's this tiny Croatian boat license. And he got it over a weekend. And then Mark's looking at it and he's like, oh, less than three. You're pretty fat, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're pretty fat. And, um, oh, but it's got a stamp. And then, and then Zam was like, oh yeah, they love stamps. Vietnamese love stamps. We'll probably be all right with this. The bureaucracy here. <laughs> Yeah, so let's see how we go getting out of here. One thing that I did want to mention are these Dyneema nets, which was sponsored by Multi Hull Nets. We'll put a link in the description below for those guys. We had a lot of dramas on the Ultramer ordering and then installing the nets. There's actually a lot more that goes into it than you might imagine. But we selected the Dyneema stuff because it's just going to last for, this will last for 10 years, maybe more. You can feel it's like just super strong. And as I said before, it's actually structural. Um, so yeah, massive thank you to Multi Hull Nets. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. So this, I'm quite sure, is Aramid rigging. That was the last set of specs that I got. Synthetic fiber, very, very strong. I'm not sure exactly what the loads are on this, but just looking at that, it's just very, very strong. It sets me at ease seeing all of this equipment on board. Um, yeah, I, I, I love it and it's sexy. Thanks for helping me build this. And no That's alright. <laughs> we did it. Nearly. We gotta get it in the water first, but we nearly did it. Now no more boats for a while. I <laughs> mean it! No more! Seriously. Uh, I've got the rudder design here from M&M which I'm not allowed to show anyone because so much development's gone into it. But Top it's, secret. Um, yeah. So the rudder will swing up. Um, yep. Yep. And then as well, because it's it's long and it's a T-foil, which stops us from So it will be incredibly stable. But I also wanted to be able to go in. So it's a new design. I said to Eric from Eminem. Well, make the rudder that everyone will copy for the next 100 years. Oh, <laughs> and it's right there on that screen. Uh, but um, unfortunately, we can't show you. That of course, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of development work going Yeah, on, for sure. Still, the, you know, the rudder with a rotating bearing um, that's locked in place. So if you hit something, then the rudder pop up. And then yeah. you, can, you can clear the rudder by flipping it right up and clear it and then put it back down again. Okay. Wow. And also, like you said, in shallow water, you can <laughs> the egg of so, yeah. We did it, guys. Well, nearly. In only a few weeks, the team will be done with the electrics and the rudder, and we'll be off. 
A huge thanks to the team at Rapido and like so many incredible companies and brands, it's going to take us a lifetime to thank everyone who helped us make this dream possible. <coughs> Are you, you're not even ready to go yet. Obviously not. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be dressed for this video. Uh, we're about to head out to dinner with Dylan and his teammate Jesse. From OBMG, they've been doing the electrical work on the boat. Absolute wizards. But what I was going to say, we're about to head out for dinner and whoa, today was so exciting. Um, we just are pinching ourselves. There's no word for it. Like we just worked, we worked nine years for this thing and it's yeah. finally, the time has finally come. It's about yeah, to go it's in crazy. the water. So yeah, stick around for the next episode where we give you guys hopefully a proper boat tour. We need to clear out all the workers and like put some things in there and you know, make it look nice and and walk you guys around and show you each little corner of the boat and where we Give plan to put Give you some stats things. and all mm. that sort of stuff. But this is a book that I'm about to publish with Penguin and it's now available for pre-order. I'll put the link in the description. And it's basically, it's Lenny's life from start to finish until baby Darwin comes and he's learning to be first mate. Poor old Darwin. We sail the world and it is like a true, like it's his story. I, I cry every time I read it. Like all the drafts I saw, I was always just replying to Penguin like, oh, like I cried, I cried again, I cried again. So the illustrations are stunning and it would mean the world to me if you guys pre-ordered one. Anyway, that's kind of it. Um, and please do download your free trial of Headspace. Thank you so much again, guys, um, for sponsoring this video. And let's go get some food. All we ate today was a bloody banana, an apple, and a scungy, a scungy, scungy oh, sandwich that we made. Thank you all for being here and um, making our dreams come to life. That is literally what you're doing. So thanks.